All right, what is going on, guys? We are back in Kaisora. About to do another deep dive here, round three or four. Luckily, we haven't died yet. You guys can check out the first attempts. Um, kind of figuring out just this room. I haven't checked out much of the dungeon. Yesterday was the first time I've ever been here. Uh, very dangerous, very empty, so lots of wiggle room and just kind of a good challenge. And that's what I was looking for here. Even though we're in a hell level of level 40, I am, like, I just was so bored at City of Mist. I mean, it's just like, enchanters, when you don't have a lot of mobs coming, is a super boring class. You're just sitting there buffing and then debuffing unless you got a, a shaman in your group and then he has bigger debuffs and it, <laughs> you just get like super bored so i like this type of thing we're gonna deep uh crawl into this dungeon that's super dangerous and no one likes to go to now some of these spiders will spawn and they will see through invis i think they're the briar webs the ravener right there he's not an undead so he will see through invis so we are in a little bit of a bind he, he doesn't see through Bristle web. He does see through. So we got two guys that see through in Viz. What we're gonna have to do is we're going to have to calm these guys. And hopefully not. <clears throat> not critically get resisted. Alright, let's make sure my spells all are up. Okay, we're gonna get that guy in the corner. Looks good. This guy. Looks good. Ooh, almost went too far there. <laughs> All right, so we got those guys are good. We have a bristle web in here. We have, what is that right there? Briar webs. So the bristles are the ones that see through and viz, I believe. Let's try that actually. Instead of having to waste too much mana. <clears throat> so from the entrance, there's three three ways you can go. You have a drop down on the uh, above and to your left. If you go to the drop down above, you're gonna have a lot of trouble. All right, so there's a secret wall there as well. We take the left, we come down through here. Now I gotta switch to Invis to Undead and do it quick because we'll have a pather that walks up through here. And they're all undead from down here other than maybe some ravenous little, those little sperm mouth looking things. <clears throat> all right, so we are Invis to Undead. Now we got some spectrals. This is our first little pole area. Now warders are the only ones causing me trouble because they're damn healers and they just, you know, they start healing themselves at the end. So I gotta figure a better way to stun them. They seem to be able to heal themselves before I can get off my one and a half second stun. So I might have to go with my lower stun, try and get a quicker um, pop on them. Another warder, another warder. This is all the same pops when I left last night, it looks like. And then we got a pather that walks through here. This is typically like the safe hall you can pull to. Um, but once you get that pather, you have a, a few different safe spots. I'm looking to see if I see any names pop up. He's getting buffed. Special guardians. You always want to con everything in this dungeon because it's very dangerous. That guy right there, the Ravener, he sees through my invis. And you got inside the temple here or the library. Gnomes, they're amazing for dungeon crawls. I think this, and there's one guy, that same pather, this is another little safer area I like to pull to. So you got like one or two guys that will probably aggro you. I don't know if that guy would aggro me from this distance if I didn't have invis to undead on right now. We do have that same pather that comes through the hallway that will walk right by there too. Minion of Valgaz. So we can probably... I like this minion to the left. And then this guy we could fight against each other. I'm not sure who this is. So I gotta see where he's gonna path. And if he... I don't know if someone up here is going to aggro if I fight where that minion is. <clears throat> Pretty 
pretty much first thing I want to find the path or that's going to walk through this hallway because I can just start at the top there and work my way through and my plan is just to kind of do that from the beginning the top and then here we go um, clear it out throughout I think it's an 18 minute respawn timer on this place so realistically at just my skill level and the amount of stats and gear I've got we could probably just do this room the top room this path there and maybe two or three others and then they'd be repopping and we could just go back and forth for the experience grind but I do want to try and clear as much as I can and then of course one big part of the solo game is I want to make some money so I want to get some names up or go after them get some good gear I can sell or use <clears throat> I'm already pretty much overweight so if I get like a big staff or something or a sword that's gonna really throw me over and then also we have nowhere to sell around here so I'm gonna kind of cross my fingers and um, I have a, a monk and a shadow knight camped in field of bone or currents which is right nearby we could maybe just drop the item on the ground and then work it from there okay so that path or he stops in here with these three I hate the three warders that's gonna be a pain in the butt here he is right here what I'm gonna do is I'm pretty much going to wait till he goes right back down and then I'm gonna take out these two up top um, that should give us enough time before he gets back and then I will pit him against one of the three down here pull him to the hallway finish off the two there and that should give us some time before that path or respawns I'm pretty sure when he spawns he spawns up here and honestly, I don't even know if he's up sometimes. If I get the first one in the zone, I've noticed he's not up until you enter the room. And then he spawns over here. I've always been thinking that someone killed him. But I'm just making sure that was the right one. All right, so I think he doubles back. So he'll go here. He'll go back up. And then he'll go down. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> And this is like one of the you know most fun parts of doing dungeon crawls is that you have to learn every mob. Learn their tendencies, where they start, their timers, what is their pathing, what's going on. Just to kind of save your butt in situations like the more I know about this pather, the less chance that I'm going to get hit when I start this fight in a second. And the one of the, oh the bastard is he is buffing them. Oh, he just buffed himself. Um, so one of the biggest things, one of the biggest problems with this style of gameplay is if you get caught, if they find you, or if, uh, you get a, an ad, excuse me. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. resist we're gonna just go ahead and mez to Sean and that was a critical resist if they critically resist your calm they come at you so a lot of times if they resist the calm they won't attack I just wait a second and then we're gonna get him charmed and then we're gonna have him go after the warder now I kind of wanted to go the other way around Get him attacking that guy. There he goes. Now we want to root him right away. Tash him right away. And now we just kind of sit back, let things go on. The Spectral Guardian is probably going to beat down my warder. He may start healing himself. We again want to get him down to like 10% life. Bring him back. Break our charm and kill the dude off. Um, got to. Uh, one of the biggest things I need is the money so I can buy that goblin gazugi ring or something that's going to instant break actually looks like this warder is kicking his butt now if things are going crazy you want to kind of keep their life equal so one of the biggest things we can do is we can slow or haste our targets so like we could slow if the, the spectral garden was whooping the warder we could slow him and that would even up the the hit points and or we could haste our pet now that gets a little dangerous if you're going to haste your pet you want to be careful with that 
If you have a pet that's really up high, you could have them go after two and then switch the targets. They're pretty close right here. And it's going a little slow, so the pather may get back to us. We will see. I'm going to go ahead and grab my second biggest. <clears throat> All right, now the spectral seems to be whooping. Pretty cool. Let's get them going. And then almost there. Like right about now, we can probably grab our Invis the Undead. Get them back. And then we're going to have to quickly stun this dude before he heals. And now we're going to blast him. And then we'll do the same with the other. Get that 100% experience. Such a long recast time on our... This won't finish him off, I'd say. One more root, but now we got that second biggest one. And we'll finish them right here. Awesome. All right, so pretty good experience. I mean, that's about, you know, one and a half, two percent. And then that pather will be on his way up. This is for, I think, a shaman quest. I'm going to invis up. We'll met up. And then we will we'll take this pather, um, have him go against one of these guys down here. This is a love the gnome. So we'll be able to see when he comes back. He'll be walking from the left to the right. I'm going to med up. I've got, you know, 55% mana. I could go ahead and start to fight now, but I like to have as much mana as possible. At least enough where I'm going to be able to gate at the end if I get a bunch of resists or, you know, things get crazy. These guys are all... Like, probably low blue to green to me right now. I'll give experience still, but we can go deeper into the dungeon and get, you know, all the way up. To, I think I'm going to probably try and stay here to like 44. There's our pather. Uh oh, my invis is breaking. Let's move it up a little bit, recast. Now, I think Calm lasts like three minutes. I'm going to have to look that up in a second. Let me look it up right now. All right, let's check that out. Calm. And I'm using the lower level Calm rather than pacify seems to work just fine and cost much less mana calm level 20 spell 2.9 to 3 minutes so yeah we got 3 minutes of calm so as this guy goes by which he might have already as I was looking away looks like he did just double check so I don't want to get caught there he was alright so we'll start calming these guys right here we want to Drop their aggro range so that we don't get crazy pulls. We'll pull them up into the hallway here. Probably have them like sit here and I'll go to the top right here just to give us some room. Or could bring them up all the way into the other room. <clears throat> now with these warders, when they heal, you know, I don't mind having two or three go at the one guy. Oh, let me turn this off, I always do that. Got him. Tash him. Oh shit. <sighs> Gotta have you. You gotta remember to redo your spells. You're always swapping out spells as a enchanter doing this. <clears throat> so gotta remember, <laughs> put the right spells in. 
Now I can have him go after him. And then we're going to just click back, bring them all the way up. I'd say let's get them just like right in that hallway. Now do our thing. All right, both are attached. We can grab our other spells. Usually I have two slots I swap in and out. So we have the third slot just for, our, I like to have a both direct damages. Our top two are a low one and a high one so that we can, if the guy's at like 4%, you don't waste all your mana on a big blast. And then, you know, when we don't need to recharm our guy and know that type of stuff, then we can swap in other spells as well. Like I need to break my charm, <clears throat> so I'll need to have the invis spell. Luckily, any invis works. Now in this situation, maybe doing a low level slow on our enemy would be a good move because he's kind of beating our guy. So let's maybe think about that. I don't want to do the big one we have. Let's do languid pace. All right, our guy's pretty much dead, so I'm gonna... Oh, that guy healed himself, bastard. So you gotta keep that in mind too. You gotta watch that. They heal. Damn, I didn't get that mez off. I gotta watch that closer. Our warder is not healing, which is, I guess, good. Let me do this, just help out a little bit. And then I'm going to mez him. Okay. And root him. Oh, I hope that didn't membler. Because that will heal him. No. Damn it. Got a little messy. Damn it. Did he did he resist it or what's going on? See, this is the hairy situations. <clears throat> and he has one life. Look at that. Luckily we've only got two we're dealing with here. We'll do the same. Jesus, you bastard. Oh, he just healed himself too. I hate these guys. I hope I have enough mana to do this. See, this is why these guys are a pain in my ass. All right, so I'm gonna mesmerize him. I could gate out of here. Or what I might try and do, I'm just going to membler him and we'll restart. At least we got one down. I hate these warders for that very reason. I need to get a... Come on. This spell takes so long. Okay. Now we can watch his health here. If it starts popping up real quick... Like 5% of the time, that means he's memblered. So it doesn't look like he does, so I'm going to just remez. Do that again. Alright, so yes, he just got cleared. Popped up 5%. Next tick, it should go to 48. Now, I don't know if that was the pather or the guy, one of the guys in there. Maybe not. Maybe he's still. Nope. 
I mean, I could just keep him mezzed and med all the way up to full if I wanted to. And then re-pet him, go from there. Every 20 seconds, I pretty much want to re-mez this guy. That's how we can keep him down. And I'm using the lowest level mesmerize. So I'm gonna cast right now. I got a, a timer on my phone started. Every 20 seconds, I'm gonna recast that. And it costs a little mana. I regen enough mana quick enough to where it's not gonna be an issue. I'll always be able to go up. Goes a little slower, but we keep him down. We don't have to gate out, come back in. I just wanna kind of, I'm also thinking, these guys might pop soon too. I gotta be careful there. We just wanna make sure we have enough mana to gate if we need to. Like I wouldn't, I almost wouldn't mind just <laughs> burning down a pet so I can get these warders out of there because they don't always spawn as warders. A lot of times they can be the other types, pretty much every other type of undead in this, this area I prefer. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how you can keep down a mob as long as you freaking want. Especially, I'd say he's green, yeah. Hmm. Fizzle doesn't help. Okay, we're getting up to where we're going to have enough to fight. But honestly, I don't have rune up. That's going to be maybe a little bit dangerous. Keep them on our spawn timers too. This guy could definitely pop any minute. It's already been three minutes just holding him down. Probably a 10 minute fight. Probably got five minutes till those pops come at very least. How much is that going to cost me? one I wanted. I'm kind of hoping that is the pather. Tash is worn down. Definitely want that back up. <clears throat> oh, he didn't. Clarity's gone. All my buffs are gone. This is just starting to get crazy. I don't think I rebuffed right when I entered. I was just going off my buffs from last night. What do we want? Conjoling whispers. Oh my gosh. I 
I accidentally mez myself there. Yeah, 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 I'm on it. Almost 50% mana. <clears throat> so this is why I want to avoid warders. They just give me a trouble finishing them off because I'm having trouble stunning them and I'm having trouble burning them down at the very end enough. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, I guess what I'll do is charm this guy, go down. I might fight. Man, I don't know if I have enough mana to go after the other, just two mobs. Like go th kill three mobs here. Because if things break, I get real worried. So going dungeon, like solo dungeon, you can get better experience solo for sure, but unless you have little downtimes like this. Like this what makes it even out to joining a group. Okay, we've got repops. Oh shit. Fuck, I mesmerized myself. I gotta get out of here. See that? I didn't know the other guy was there. This is gonna be trouble. They're gonna probably stun me right off the bat. My charm looks like it broke. It didn't hold. Get a AE Mez off, and then we're going to gate the hell out of here. I resist typically most of them. So there we go. That whole situation, keeping that warder up, probably should just gate it out right when that warder, I wasn't able to finish him off. I could, I was right near the entrance here. I just need to re, um, get things going. I'm probably going to move down into the library a little bit more since... So let's just get down there again. Now if these guys aggro, we don't have any mana. Getting risky. All right, again, here's the entrance. You got the three paths. So up ahead, this leads down. You can get to the same spider area we're at if you have levitate and just go straight across on the second level. But if you drop all the way down to the third, you're going to be in some trouble because there's some spiders down there. A lot of times, the spiders, some of them see through invis, like we said. This is the way out. We can't get up there, but if you go either left or straight, you're going to be pretty much, you can't go back those paths. You got to go all the way through the dungeon and you'll pop out right here. Um, or of course you can gate out. I've not made it anywhere other than the library yet, so I don't really know where that stuff is, but right now we're good to go. And I've not even tried to fight, what is this one, with the spiders, because there are a lot more casters. It caused some trouble. this I need a calm See, what level is he? Okay, he's a blue. That guy doesn't see shit, so we're not worried about him. Well, I guess we we better, just in case. Only 
30% mana. Keep that in mind. That's not good. If things went badly, that is. So I think if we just invis, we can get by both these. It's the bristle webs that cause us a problem. And then let's just throw this here to be ready. <clears throat> Now we can met up, get ready to do the good fight here. Let's go check out if that guy, if we killed the Pather or if we killed the other guy. I want to kill definitely both those Guardians right here because they're warriors, makes the whole charm fighting so much easier. When you start dealing with casters, things start to get rough. Okay, so it was the Pather we killed. Pretty sure that Pather spawns up here. Probably going to spawn on us pretty soon. We'll just kind of sit here and wait for him as we're in Viz. Let's get up to 100 mana too. I hate getting into those rough situations. Things get crazy. Then you have no mana. Nice. Got our first subscriber on the YouTube channel. Which, by the way, guys, go check out Rec2 you YouTube. You're probably watching this video on the channel now. Would love a subscription or a, a like. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing lots more dungeon crawls. I want to go check out all the dungeons. I tried a lower guck deep dive yesterday and totally forgot that I was bound outside of City of Mist, so things got hairy. I jumped into a room with Invis on. There was a bunch of undead skeletons. Five dudes jumped on me. Luckily, I got stun off, area effect mez, and I was able to gate out, but I was, again, bound next to City of Mist, so that's on the other, another continent. So that ended the lower guck deep dive. All right, I'm really, I don't want to engage this fight without knowing where this pather is that we did kill. It's got to be close to the reset spawn timer soon. So as soon as he walks by here, that's when I can engage these guys. If he walks down and not up. Oh, perfect. Perfect timing. All right. So let's go ahead and do this now. We've got 80% mana. Should be enough, especially with these guys. both going to be blues too, I bet. I think only the warders are green. fun begin. As soon as that mez breaks, we hop over. We're going to root him. We're going to tash him. And we're going to med. Now I can grab my lower level DPS, or if we want to watch the fight a little bit, we may want to throw on a slow or a haste, depending on the situation. These guys are probably right around the same level. They're the same type of class. So more than likely, they're going to be real close as they're, they're fighting each other. So pretty close there. You can watch how hard one of uh, they are hitting each other to see what level they are. Now, I don't know those that type of stats on top of my head and stuff, but oh, I want to keep that just in case Charm does break. Keep that root up. 
Okay, so it looks like our guy is whooping this other guy. Maybe like 10% difference, but enough. <clears throat> Do I have rune up? Okay. About to say, what the? That's one of the dumbest things you can do, not have your rune up if you're going to be soloing. All right, about 10% is what I want them at. Bring them back far enough so that they don't hit each other still. All right, looking pretty good. I'm gonna keep this guy here. I'm gonna go with this. Grab this. All right, let's mesmerize him. And we'll deal with the other guy first with the smaller shot. 7% that should get him. And then this guy will root and we'll have to take two shots to get him down. So that should also get him. There we go, 200% kills. Again, the shaman quest there. And then our pather should be coming pretty soon, I'd say. Now I'm probably gonna skip this damn room of four healers, just because I hate dealing with the warders like we've already talked about. And I'm gonna try and get just melee guys like that. And then also I wanna work the room a little bit more over here. All right, so we had pretty much plenty of time there, it looks like. Yeah, I wanna do this room more so than just this hallway. I mean, that's not bad experience. You can see there again, 2%, 2.5% experience from those two blue kills. And as long as I stay with the tanks and not the the healers, I seem to do much, much better as far as controlling fights and dealing with things. Like, we, we have such good stun potential that melee doesn't get anything off, typically. This guy always slaps the buff himself as soon as I'm sitting there. Almost want to just charm him and throw him into the three, burn him down, charm another. But then that, you know, that's going to get hectic. That's going to get real messy. All right, so this pather is the only one that's going to cause us a little trouble. I may, you know, grab this minion and have him go after the pather. That might be what I do. And then those two can fight each other. Or I could just go and try and burn down this warder. That might be a potential solution. Like stun lock him the entire time so he can't get off any heals and just burn him down, get him out of the way. So, 80%. Got these guys. Now, this guy's going to walk. He's going in. That guy's there. You know what would be fun? Let's get crazy. Getting crazy. Oh, shit. Got to remember to do that. Got to remember to redo your spells, or else things are going to get bad. that down. Alright, something dropped there. Oh, my rune dropped. Let's go ahead and get that back up real quick. Is this guy green? Oh no, he's, he's good. Alright, 
so the minion is whooping his butt. It's all right. Not really upset with 50% if we're going to be alive. Just to let him get beat a little bit. That's good. That guy's going to be no trouble. This guy's going to be a little bit of trouble. Just got a little bit more health than I want. So I could just keep him going and fight another one, but I'm just going to get... Oh, he stuns me right away, too. The stun right off the bat. Now let's finish this guy. Get that 100%. Alright, so this guy we can probably burn down with two big ones. Gotta do it quick. That will waste a lot of mana though, which I hate to do. Ooh. Alright, so the guy up top does not. Oh, that motherfucking warder up there is healing him. All right, I don't have enough mana to deal with this guy. Oh, the warder, the pather came. I got to get rid of the pather. All right, so we see that's a safe area to fight, though. You're not going to get any pather from up top that's going to aggro below. The warder will heal if that, that's that pather that walks through the hallway. So we're going to have to bite the bullet and deal with them. I might attempt this spider room too. I know we have healers and then also they poison, which is a lot of trouble. All right, we're getting better and better. Got about five, six percent so far. Once we get into a groove, we'll be able to really get some great experience. If we don't have to gate out every time, I'm pretty much only getting one or two fights and then messing up, gating out for safety. But I feel like that's probably faster than dying. <laughs> Losing all of our experience. I do want to try and clear this spider room, honestly. Alright, 75%. Should be okay. I don't think there's anything here. I don't... I've not walked that way. I don't know if there's, you know, hidden floors and stuff like that are always dangers in these type of places. Left one... Probably, it looks like a hidden wall or another drop down over there to the left. And I hate to go places I've not tried yet. It's a little scary. Alright, so what do we have here? We've got a Strathbone, we've got a Bristle Web, and a Ravener. Let's go ahead and look up these mobs. I want to get a little bit more information what they are. All right, a bristle web, giant spider, a warrior. This is the one that sees through invis. A ravener, and what's that other one? Strathbone. Strathbone healer, Strathbone spider. He's a necromancer. Okay. 
and then the Ravener, that's a warrior as well. So we got two warriors and we have one, what's the percentages mean? One Necromancer. So the Strathbone, he's the Necromancer. Want to probably take him out first. Just get rid of the caster. Like you always are afraid of aggroing through walls. Even the corner trick does do pretty good though to be able to get an idea of what's going on. <clears throat> All right, so what do we want to do? I'm going to kill probably that Necromancer first. So step one. Oh, shit. Got to be careful. No critical resist, please. Both of them come. I think I can salvage that. All right, so this guy is what we want to. Charm. This guy's preparing for a fight. Oh, shit. Better remember to swap your spells. All right, so let's bring him back here. So that guy is whooping my pet. So what we'll do is we'll med we'll probably take the necromancer as our pet next. I got to make sure that I get the credit for this kill too. Oh shit! We have a pather over there. Did not know. Get the hell out of here. Oof. Okay, got rid of one of those spawns, 80% mana. We know there's a pather back there now <laughs> that we did not know. We have two mobs in here. That necromancer is pretty nasty. As far as his DPS. We don't want to get, that's the kind of thing, I don't want to be poisoned because then that will really hurt our regen time. I want to get this guy down as much as possible. I really wanted to kill that <clears throat> Necromancer first and then have the two warriors go after each other. That would have been the easier way to do that. But hey, that wasn't too bad. Made it out of there pretty okay. Let's do this. Charm is definitely much more reliable up in these <laughs> level 40 and so on. All right, so that guy probably doesn't path too far away. I don't think I've ever seen him come to here, though. So standing right there, he got me. So he must like walk right through that hallway. We only got two guys here now, so this will be easy. That guy's probably still calmed, but we're gonna redo. Shit. No, Mez. 
and it got me. That's exactly what we don't want to happen. We need to get our magic resist up a little bit. Try it again. <laughs> get hit here just a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't poison me. Could try and recover and Mez are me yeah. man, they are <clears throat> that is a pain, man. I may die here if I if that happens a few more times. Is they're gonna get t shots on me? I don't have rune up anymore. <sighs> Man, I broke before they broke too. And that's three in a row. I usually always resist that too. My magic's only at 44. I don't have my magic resist on, do I? Cross your fingers. Boom. Okay. All right, we might be able to recover. Let's see. All right, so the Necromancer has a damage shield. Good to know. He is burning the hell out of that guy. I kind of just get rid of him. <laughs> Root has worn off. Oh, thank you. Clarity is dropping. Gotta be careful here. I'm almost I'd almost rather take the the fifty percent here. And gate out, not deal with this guy again. At least getting rid of the guys who see through invis. Yeah, it wasn't much there. Alright, let's get out of here. I hate this guy. <clears throat> Oof, all right spiders casters i learned how to deal with them a little bit better Buff here. Yeah, I didn't have resist magic because I was fighting the skeletons who don't cast. So I've got to keep that in mind. If I'm going to fight those spiders, got to have resist magic up. And then just in case, I guess those warders could cast. We could come after a caster for sure without knowing it. So I think all the guys who see through Invis should be taken out, though. I 
just want to double check though, definitely. Alright, so let's go check out this guy. So is that our pather? There's our library, that's where we're going to right now. It's a Strathbone, so he's a necromancer. Okay, there's a drop down. So this guy must path. I don't know where I'm at right here. Uh oh, there's our path there. Okay, so is that the same guy? No, that's a different guy passing through. Let's see where he goes. Oh, he's right there. So he stops right here on the other side of the rock. So as far as he goes. So when I was st sitting right back here, that's how he aggroed me. Ravener there. Briar webs and different. Oh shit. So let's keep this guy down. I want to med myself all the way up. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to just throw him into those two mobs. I want to get up to about 80% if I'm going to do this. So we got a little bit of time. 80%. I, want, I just want this warder to get beat down as much as possible. And then I'll pet the others. I don't really care even about the experience on this dude. Just because I hate these healers. <laughs> now, this will be, you know, I don't usually, I haven't really done much with two against one. I know it's a good strategy to use. It will speed up experience and everything as well. But it's much a little bit more dangerous with everything kind of goes wrong and breaks. So this will be one of those first attempts for us. 80%. We're almost there. In like three or four minutes probably. I guess I could bring that like that. There we go. Three, so 55, we can recast. Now when you got two on one, you got, you're gonna be having to root two mobs instead of one. Um, keep your tash going and then just make sure that root is in place. Two, one, perfect timing. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention to the clock. And I'm recasting about every 20 seconds. I think it's like a two second cast time or not even on that mesmerize. So giving us a one to two second leeway. It's 24 second mes, I believe. Maybe one more, two, two more times. Just one again, 80%, 85. Higher the better. We have rune up. This should get us right here. We'll retash as well. Takes three minutes, it drops, so 20 seconds here. 78. I'll get to 85 just because I want extra f for that charm. Now 10 seconds, I've got leeway. We'll just go ahead and charm this dude. And 
and Mez should break any minute or any second. There we go. Go get him, boy. Let's chill out, let him just go back and forth and get beat down. If charm breaks, we can recharm. They're both rooted. I really just want this guy dead. <laughs> or we could root and then... Hmm, let's maybe try that. Oh, I want that. I need that up. All right, so that guy's that, that guy's there. Let's go ahead and grab this. Sick him. So we didn't get any experience for that warder, but I just wanted him out of the way. 18 minutes from now, too. Remember, he'll pop. And that root is lasting a long time on my, <laughs> my dude. All right. They're both around. Same uh, mana or hit points. Our guy's a little bit lower. That's okay, though. Both our guys are tashed, so we can go ahead and grab our smaller di direct damage. We're going to grab this next. 68. Oh, we lost something there. What was our buff that we had? See, that was a little messy. I don't know if my smaller DD will go 10%, so we're just going to have to use the bigger. It will do 7. I think it does like 8% damage. All right. Good enough. Got the warder out of the path right out of the way. Gave us some time to do other things. And we are good to go. So we need rune. You get Tash back in. We need Sympathetic Aura as well. So I never, I haven't bought the, I think it's like Radiant Visage. Visage, whatever, how you pronounce it. Um, that would be an even better charisma buff. I just haven't gotten yet. Alright, we'll met up. I'm 
probably gonna, I wanna get past these three. I don't really care about these three warders. When they're your pet, they seem not to heal themselves. So when you break that, they instantly heal. I don't know if they've got really a small cast heal or what. But we've got a little bit of time again before that pather comes. It was 11.07 when he died, so 11.15, 11.25 is when he'll spawn up top, 15 minutes. Give us a, another time probably around the kill here. I don't, I've only seen a warder pop um, as that pather. So we will see if that's the case all the way through. We got our minion here. We'll go fight in our left channel. Not bad, not bad. Halfway through hell level 40. We'll have to start, once we get a groove, I gotta start timing out, looking at how much experience we're getting, seeing if it is better than even just that boring City of Mist type of grouping. And then, then you can just decide, do you want experience as fast as possible, or do you want to enjoy a lot of the dungeons that, you know, once you get like 60 and you gotta come back to these where everything is green and that they can't hit you, you know, it's not as fun. You check it out, you look at it all, but this is pretty fun fights compared to just mezzing the one extra ad that you might get or buffing, debuffing. Gotta have a little bit more skill with your class making sure we got everything got some 44 spells <clears throat> and we should be safe right here again till the 25th with that path there i'm gonna go grab some coffee be right back All right, so we have got a good amount of good amount of mana right now. So the pather is we got this warder up here. So he's not a pather from above. So these two minions, I'm gonna have fight against each other. This guy passed back and forth. This guy passed back and forth to right here, I believe. He might also walk up here we're gonna sit here and watch but i'll pull them to the hallway here this is typically if you're in a group you'll pull to like right here and you should be good other than that one path which again we've got 11 minutes till he pops i want to watch this warder up here see what he does we got in here i've never been in yet so that's Something I hope to accomplish today. Let's watch where this guy goes. Spectral Warder, is he going inside? Or Spectral Guardian, they're going onto the ledge. see where that warder went. He's over there. Might not even need calm. So he's gonna buff. So I think I'm pretty safe right now. Now this guy it's depending on where they go. Where'd this guy go? Okay, he's way back there. Okay, so he's going right here around the edge. Okay, down the stairs. So I could actually do those two against each other right here. Okay, 
Okay, so when they both path back, I want to see that warder leave. I want to see that spectral guardian leave. Crazy, crazy paths up here. Spectral Guardian's going back inside. That's good. Those two, those three. So if that warder could just leave. Definitely do this. Eight minutes till that path responds. Got to be careful. All right, so that might be us right there. Might be a oh, that guy's right there. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to mess this dude. those shots all right now how far back can we go right here without getting in trouble let's chill now we gotta be careful those warders next to us if it pulls in it probably they'd start healing them even if they're not aggroing just from like be through the walls and stuff so we might want to be careful of that not sure if I attached them. I think I did. Both are attached. Let's go ahead and grab our lower level. Pretty even. One of them's hitting for 71. One of them hitting the top of 67, I think, so. One of them is probably a level higher than the other. See, the warder just healed him. Wherever that warder is, feels much better. Screw you, warder. So luckily, it didn't aggro, though. I wonder if me casting like that would. The longer the fight goes, the more likely this guy's going to break, which we do not like to see. But... You know, shit happens. All right, at this point, I can probably grab my... Damn, that guy's just getting healed. Where is that warder? Get him off before the guy heals. Boom. Five minutes to spare until the next pop. And we should be pretty good here as far as aggro goes. All right, cool. So wherever that warder was healing, that was pretty much the biggest problem we saw. Which I think it was the one that came right up top here. Like that guy right there. There he is. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm trying to think about what our next plan is. Got these guys here. We're going to have a pather is going to spawn in four minutes. 
and he walks up there he also walks straight across here where I'm walking now and this would be another pole spot I feel like I think is almost safe that's he's the only path there here as well they'll walk down I want to come and kill these three guys is I've seen a name pop there they're all tanks too so that's nice trying to think of where we could go. It'd be nice to kill this warder up here. Do we have two paths? I think one more came out, right? We had like three eventually came out and walked around up here. We can grab these guys and pull them back over this way because this guy has 18 minutes, whatever, till he spawns and there's no other pathers that walk right through here. We're just kind of making our rounds around the dungeon here. All right, just in case there. I don't know where they're pathing, but I feel like they do. A skeletal minion. Is that guy going to come out? No, he's going that way. Oh, there's a minion of Zalgaz there. So pretty much I want to grab this guy ASAP. So that skeletal minion will aggro if I did that. So I guess what we want to do, we'll probably pet our warder here. Let him get beat down a little bit. Or we could just go to the right here kill those three, but I'm curious, the warder probably passed in here. Okay, here we go. That's what I'm hoping for here. All right, where'd that damn warder go? He literally left the second I wanted to get him. Right, the minion there. Clarity's dropping, great, always. I really want the warder to die. So that pather should sp uh, spawn, so he's going to be running around over there. Got to be careful. There he is. There's our warder there that we were looking for. God damn it. I hate when I do that.
So that didn't work out like I wanted, but you know, it's all right. Sit you right there. And we probably got like a minute or so. I want that Spectral Guardian to walk out here, please. There we go. Oh shit, where's he going? Oh, did it interrupt? <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. Wasting charm time here. Yeah, I should have brought him back. I totally forgot. So as soon as that root breaks, I'm going to bring him back here. All right, the warder is casting. There might be another warder, though, that's casting around. See, if that pather comes anytime soon, we're probably going to get aggro, which is no bueno, but... that root. Come on. Come on, dude. Get over here. You know what I hate? I hate when that happens. Oh, that's what happened. Okay. It's okay. Let's keep this guy rooted. We can just let him kill our guy, and we're gonna grab this other warder. And just keep him rooted. Boom. Save the day, that one pather. I don't think we should, We unless this minion there, let's see if he, if he aggros. Is he gonna come this way? Right. Root has worn off. Let's keep him down and we'll finish off the other guy while we've got <clears throat> the charm broke. We'll be able to get 100% XP instead of taking the shot. All right, this guy will go ahead and charm. I'm going to sick him after this guy. Damn it. Got to remember, switch out. Typically don't put that in that slot either. All right, so that's our pather. He's our charm pet. We got probably a minute, two minutes, three minutes. Just met up. We might need to rebuff our rune. Well, we still got it up. That's not bad. I will do one of these though. No. I'm gonna keep him down. 
All right, so these pops over here, probably happening in like five minutes, so let's be careful. We have this one more dude here. Follow me, he's gonna come like right here. Oh, that path, that would have been nice. Let me have you guard right there. I'm just gonna sit way over here. There we go, that's what I wanted. Now let's go ahead and help our <clears throat> pet out a little bit since they're a little bit off. This guy, pain in my ass. get some mana back hopefully that other path or maybe that is that other path that came back they're closer to hit points now which is nice probably going to not need to recharm because we want to get this XP hopefully that guy gets a little bit more burnt down about 20% would be real nice not looking like we're going to get to that point. Might have to use two big DDs, which does suck, but it's all right. And then let's hopefully, there we go. Let's get our pet here. 4% is exactly what I want to see. And then finish. This guy, hopefully be able to finish him with one, two shots. Now let's just wait for it to pop. And we'll be very low on our mana. But we are making our way. We've got another 18 minutes till our path spawns. Another path are here. We just knocked out. Pretty sure we should be good to go now. Getting a better groove there. Got a bubble and a half over the past, like, feels like two poles, which was, what, 10, 15 minutes, which is real good compared to any group you're going to have at this level. Room three, shade, greater healing. Alright, so next off, I want to go ahead and go for this three crowd over here. Could go ahead and invisibility up just to be careful. But like I said, I'm pretty sure I got all the pathers out of the way. Um, the guys on the left there are probably going to be spawning soon. We could run up to the room that has the two spawns and finish them off since we know the path is not there. You know, just finding our easy route for experience. I don't think we have any more pathers that come right on this stairway. 
and we'll be able to try and take these guys out on the right. Problem with this area when you're a, a good race, or anything but Ixtar really, is it's tough, nowhere to sell, nowhere to bank. We gotta run probably to like, what? Verona, Veriona V or V, two, two zones away. And costly is how much does that weigh? 0.3, nothing. Three on this lariat. We're not even using it right now. If you're gonna pet your or weaponize your pets, it's usually <clears throat> good to find a good pet you're gonna keep around a while. So you're gonna have to keep swapping in and out. And then if you lose your pet, you lose the item. So that's always a, a risk with that as well. All right, so that's pretty much us. We're going to kind of just move our way through. I'm going to go ahead and turn on some YouTube videos or something. Might uh, turn up the volume and my mic and just continue recording, guys. So enjoy the library Chaosora dungeon crawl. We'll probably have maybe a few other parts here if I, as I level up and figure it out and kind of want to dive deeper and deeper and deeper. Um, we'll, we'll record that if that happens as well. And then, of course, we're going to try some other dungeons as we go. So, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed. And hopefully you enjoy the rest as well. All right, guys. Just want to pop on the mic real quick here. I see this little path I had not gone down before. See, we're having a pretty easy time just kind of working our way around. Now, this path right here, which if we do that, we're going to have to go by these three. There's no way to get around it. Um, but this path over where are you at? here leads to the hut or the hungered ravener. And he drops icy blade, luminary two-handed staff, or sword, excuse me. And I've never been in there, so I don't know the the pops and such. But right here, that's three warriors. We could definitely definitely take those guys out. I just want to watch. Oh shit. See, I did not want to do that because now I have to go. That guy can see through Invis, the Ravener, remember? He's the only one. But I don't think we have any path, pathers around. Let's go ahead and look what's going on here. Warder, warder. Warder, Ravener. All right, so that is where he will pop, I guess. I don't think we have any. Okay, we got a warder right there. Let's see where he goes. Getting a little deeper, checking out other rooms and stuff like that. Next off, we can go check out the backyard where a warder of Zalgaz drops, or uh, spawns. He also spawns on the side here, so. Was that another pather? So that must be a pop from earlier. I think two pathers. He only goes, he only goes right there, I think, then he must go back into the yard or whatever. I don't think he will aggro me. This guy right here, is that as far as he goes, or is he gonna come all the way back? Okay, he is coming back here. So we do have this pather here, which could cause trouble. 
He only goes right there. Had someone just run by. Okay, we'll go ahead, we'll swap that out instead, just for now. Kind of fiend death by him. That's okay. Let's get our invis back up. I think I'm in a safe spot. I don't know about that path. Oh, yeah, we're safe right here, it looks like. Let's just double check unless he runs by us here. That would be bad. Okay, I assume that guy will be able to heal from there, too. Where'd that one minion go? Did he run back here? The path. I think he turned around. Just trying to figure out where I should fight these guys. Resist. I feel like that path is going to be right back around, too. seconds <clears throat> we will charm attack the minion pull and we don't, probably don't even need the pull back Hopefully that Ravener will not attack. And we're probably going to get an ad over here, so we got to be careful of that. Oh, shit. Broke a little early. That's okay, though. Should be able to kill these both by the time that guy, that Ravener, breaks. And hopefully by the time that Pather goes. I think the minion is a little higher level than my Spectral Guardian. Seems like he's getting beat down quite a bit here. What is this? Calm? Yeah, we need our 
Shit, there's the problem. We don't have rune up either. All right, we're just gonna let our spectral guardian die. We're going to pet this dude. Put him after the minion. Oh, damn it. Looks like the Ravener also got into the fight now. You know what? I'm going to mez him. Did I still not get Ruin up? I am just like messing that up heavily. Don't want to waste too much mana. Got three dudes here. my light one that dang it look at all those freaking fizzles no stuns no stuns no stuns damn it this could get messy right now so I probably shouldn't have cast that actually <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. So let me just do my literally lowest DPS. Now let's keep this guy messed as we heal up. Little messy, but we got two good kills there. This guy's full. Should have switched targets probably a little better there. All right, so we want to get our countdown, 20 second countdown. Finish this guy off. Gate out, come back down, safety trip. Or just met up and then take this guy, have him kill something else. That's probably what I'll do here. Let's make sure he's tashed. Now, if we get up to around like 60 mana, I'll probably just pet this guy and then figure out our next target to take out. We can pretty much stay like this again as much as we need to. Unless the resistor 
something happens. I don't think we have any ads that are going to come around. We've killed them all. I thought I waited a little long. Oh, that totally men blurred him too. Right there. That guy did not even know I was there. He was walking back slowly. So I should have just let him go back to his spot. Be a good way to not deal with him. And that warder probably gonna pop soon. Let's see what this guy does. Okay, it still got him. Got my rune. going pretty similar here getting low on mana though only 32 percent probably not even enough to blast them both right now so be careful on that for sure no more buffing in between <laughs> The Ravener probably going to break any second now. Honestly. Four, 25 seconds that root breaks I want to get to maybe about 40 percent how much does this root cost 30 mana twenty mana so ten more mana how long does it last that's another thing I want to look up reason my man went down there all right <clears throat> we can start blasting here at about 40 let's blast fuck it uh oh fizzles are no good 
getting a little low where it's getting to the scary point. And I think I should be able to finish with one more blast of our big one. That root broke a little early last time, that's okay. We finished them. Well done. Golden earring. Sweet. All right, there we go. Some good dungeon crawling going here. Pretty good experience too. Right, so someone cleared them out. <laughs> A warder with a weapon. We got no no mana. We can chill out for a little bit. <clears throat> So it got a little hectic. We had, what, two ads really popped in. We should have brought those guys back a little bit. We'd only had to deal with the one ad, but we came out on top. That was a fun fight. We did lose the experience for one because we let them just kind of kill our pet to get rid of the extra ad, which you want to be careful with.